for me, it used to just be fun going out and shredding, being in front of the camera and kind of letting that speak for itself. But nowadays for me, that's not enough. As you get older, you're gonna have a transition out of being the best in the world at what you do. But if you want longevity, you have to clearly integrate yourself with the business. Hey, everybody. Good nice to see you, Max. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. The production's running and... Yeah, it's a very exciting. Oh, it's good. It's good to be here. Let's go check it out. The purpose of this trip is sort of multidimensional. Ultimately, I really wanted to show how we bring these amazing products to life. I'd been to the Scarpa factory before, but I hadn't ever had the opportunity to go through the building process. If you wanna make great ski boots, it has to be done right here in Italy because these are the people that have the expertise. I remember thinking to myself, how hard can it be to make a ski boot? Stick it in a mold, rivet on a bunch of plastic pieces, and you go. To work with the craftsmen that do this and have them show me, I now understand that this is a really complicated and really difficult process to do it right. It takes a lot of dexterity and it takes a lot of know-how. It's just so detail-oriented. I love the fact that you need to have good hands to build these beautiful boots. Going through the build process at Scarpa, now I really get it. The attention to the quality is just remarkable. Kessley is located in Salzburg, Austria. It's been around over 80 years. The technology in building skis hasn't actually changed that much. And if you look at a Kessley ski, they're beautiful, yet they're simple. So if you think of the first generation of FX, there was a progressive jump from first generation to second generation. For me, ski engineering is not rocket science. It's actually pretty simple. The ski that I'm working on right now is the FX94, our free ride skis. Hey, Axel. Hi, Chris. Good to see oh, you. Yeah, good to see you again. Sounds like you have all the materials and everything's ready everything to go. Everything is prepared. We are still waiting for you. Yeah, I'm ready to get my hands dirty. <laughs> yes. We've got an ash and silver fir wood core. The fibers in the wood give the ski a beautiful feel and rebound. Erdogan, so servus. Vigates. Yeah, that's good. Erdogan's the master, so I'm going to let him do the dirty work. Erdogan. Ready? We go? We do it? Passed. When you build them here in Austria, it's generations of ski builders that have their hands on those skis. And you just can't do that anywhere else in the world. The skis look absolutely beautiful. Being able to see it come out at the other end of this assembly line of craftsmen is so rewarding. It's not a bunch of machines just working away on their own. It's people. When you come to the Alps, you see history all around you. You're surrounded by culture and tradition here in Europe, and it's just spectacular. The first time I came and skied in the Alps, I knew that I would come back a lot, and I continue to. <laughs> the features of these mountains are just incredible. There's tons of couloirs everywhere, steep slopes. It's just spectacular. 
This is the first time that I've built products with my own hands and the stuff that I've literally just spent hours and hours and hours working on, I'm gonna click in, put them on the snow and go and it's gonna be incredibly rewarding. Dolomites is really a perfect place for testing because it's got everything. Big, wide open groom slopes. Rising up and towering above are these gigantic mountains. There's so many classic couloirs here. This couloir is really steep, really long, very narrow, so you feel like you're basically skiing in a tunnel. The whole trip kind of comes together with the descent of the Holzer on these skis and boots that I've just built in perfect conditions, and we literally ski out at sunset. It's like storybook Alp skiing. In my career as a skier, it's oftentimes been all about me. But once you have children, that's no longer the thought process. Everybody's like, oh my god, you're having kids, your life's gonna change. Just bring them into your world. I knew when I moved to Aspen that I was gonna stay there. I met the right people, the skiing was awesome. I'm really proud to call it home.